canine behavioural therapist Sandra Mullaly a challenge to train these two divine miniature Italian greyhounds and their owner, Susie Stylist, and from the award-winning Salon 66, Cheryl McFarlane. Welcome to you both. Thank you. Thank Have you. we set you a big challenge? <laughs> yeah, they're quite a handful, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> they are tiny, but uh, obviously they've had no training at all yet, Cheryl. Absolutely none. I don't think you could. I think with two pups, it's a double trouble. Is, yeah. that, is it hard, Sandra, to train two? Having two puppies is like having six. It's, oh. it's infinitely harder. Um, it's much more rewarding, of course, having two puppies because you have, you have benefits. You have benefits such as they've got company, um, they, they're not fretting when you bring them home, etc., etc. But having two, they're so distracted and the problem is that they can overbond with each other. So um, after a little while, they're the alphas. You guys are on the bottom of the pack mm. and they're actually running the whole show, which is where we're up to. Yeah. <laughs> So that's it, isn't it? I mean, th they really go back to their original instincts of being top dog. Absolutely. With a dog, there has to be a strong pack leader. Um, I know a lot of people say this and they say it in different ways, but the way it works is somebody has to be a leader, someone has to be a follower. In a family situation, we want the puppies to be very comfortably and very happily on the bottom of the pack. And we want the, uh, the family and even the children to be on the top. So we want the alphas, so to speak, and even mm. the alpha puppies. I've got chicken on my fingers. Yeah, I was wondering why <laughs> you, uh, you're very appetising today. Um, yeah, so the alpha puppies have even got to be in charge. So it's important to teach the children to actually be able to um, control the puppies and get some respect <laughs> off them. Right, OK. Well, as you can see, we have no control over these whatsoever. What is the best age to start? When they're born. <laughs> so, a good breeder will um, start doing exercises with the puppies to start getting used to people, um, noises, um, all sorts of sort of you know, distractions, and make sure that they're um, oh they're gone, aren't they? Yes, <laughs> they're running That's around. right. Our cameras are following them. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so a good breeder will actually start that. Um, but when you get your puppy at home, and you don't ever want your puppy anywhere before eight weeks, preferably, you know, even ten weeks old would, uh -huh. would be the best. Uh, when you get home, you start doing work with them then, and the work will be a matter of 30 seconds, one minute, that type of thing. So it's sort of working your way up. Uh, five minutes is a massive training session for a little baby. Oh, really? Yes. Ah, so it's little bits consistently yes. more so. Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. oh, right. So, <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> uh, so, obviously, be, trying to be top dog doesn't mean, though, that you smack them. Yeah. or anything like that. Is it more praise and reward? It's all praising the good behaviour. We're doing reward-based um, positive training. We don't ever smack them. We don't ever yell at them. Um, all of that stuff, if you yell at your dog, it's basically goobly gook. You're yelling an alien. Um, never, ever use their name in vain. Don't ever scream at Leo. It's not teaching them anything positive. So as much as we can, we try to avoid uh, reprimanding them, but obviously sometimes they do have to be pulled up. Mm. Um, and rewarding the good behaviour. So give them an option. They do something really naughty, give them an option of something they could do that's good. Woohoo! Good puppies! Good puppies! <laughs> and if they're naughty, well, a sharp, short, guttural sound. Yeah. <coughs> Sorry, puppies. <laughs> <laughs> we'll pull them up fairly quickly. She knows exactly she... where the food is, doesn't she? <laughs> I'm being robbed. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, with toilet training, for instance, is, is that something that you need to do on a regular basis too? Yes, toilet training can start um, from the moment you get them. They're already sort of partially toilet trained from their parents, from the mother, um, and then our job is to take over. Now, with toilet training, the, the big mistake people do is they follow the old-fashioned rules where you, you drag your puppy around, you rub your nose in it, mm. you give a good building with a piece of newspaper, and um, oh. you know, and then the puppy you know, learns. What it learns is actually to be um, very anxious when it's time to go to the toilet because they know there's something wrong with going, but they don't uh. understand what I actually have to do is go outside and do it in that little spot in the garden. So a no amount of screaming and googly gooking is going to teach the puppy that's where you go to the toilet. So where do we start with these now? All right, well, we're going to start with um, just some basic exercises. Um, Watch Me is a very nice one, or can be Look At Me, but 
always run the club. Trouble if you get a class with a dog named Kinney. So I pretty well banned that word from my classes and the whole classes. But I say watch me or watch or look. And the trick is to teach the dog to pay attention to you. Now, obviously, it's going to be very difficult in a studio like this at the moment, but um, we're going to get some practice. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll t teach we the basic skills. Yes. Now, oh, here we go. All right. Leo, Gucci. Leo. Puppy, 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 puppies. Oh, all puppy, right. puppy, 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 puppies. <laughs> Oh, a bit of bribery, yes. that's good. Actually, now, if you take Lucci, because yeah. she's feral at the moment. Yes. <laughs> Look. Okay. Oh, he sits already. Che Chicken, Jeez. well, he learned it today, didn't he? Ah. Chicken will get them to watch. Watch me. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> We've okay. got to leave it there. We will get you back on a regular basis and we'll see how... Uh, how well trained these turned out to be. Thank you so much. <laughs> you. And uh, Sandra's fact sheet and her dog tech details are now on our website. Money Man Tony Harris is next. Uh, first, though, here's Mel.